Next news, atheist bloggers told to stop criticizing religion. So this is quite a shakeup in the atheist world. What? On by who? Patheos. Patheos, a multi-faith media platform owned by BN Media, has recently made drastic changes that do not allow its non-religious channels to criticize religion. 15 bloggers left the platform at the end of 2021. Hemet Mehta of the famed Friendly Atheist blog is one of the many bloggers who left. Hemet stated, the writing on the wall was that unless you're prepared to say nice things about religion, you need to find a new outlet. Adam Lee, writer for the Daylight Atheism blog on Patheos, stated, many of us felt that it would require an editorial shift to such an extent as to make our blogs unrecognizable. All the bloggers, along with their manager, Dale McGowan, have stated started a new platform called Only Sky, where Dale will, where Dale will be their new editor-in-chief. The site will launch sometime later in January 2022. You know, I was starting to notice there's some shifts in the page. Like, I was subscribed to their YouTube channel, and it started very good by, host, by bringing up that religion for breakfast guy. Um, and then oh, it I started... Yeah, they have. Uh, you had him. They were collaborating with him, and it was really good. I was learning a lot. And they, they all of a sudden brought a Catholic priest trying to tell you why everything, all the bad things about the church that you think is bad is not bad. And they, they had this Christian woman uh, explaining the Old Testament. Guys, if you want to see what the Old Testament, how ridiculous the Old Testament is, go look at Hemet Mehta's videos. He. <laughs> <laughs> he breaks down the Old Testament in such a beautiful way, um, goes through chapter by chapter, really good, really good, okay? But not this late. This lady, like I thought, like Pythias was like such a good place to, because I, I was fooled. I thought like they had this religion for breakfast guy there and I was learning so much. I was like, okay, I'm going to subscribe to this channel. I wonder what else I'm going to learn about religion. And they were now like this lady that was like going to teach about the Bible. I'm like, oh. So it's kind of going to be like the Hamad Mehta, but maybe in a less aggressive, like more like less aggressive way. It's fine, right? But then no, she's like completely just promoting the Bible. I'm like this is very biased. Okay. Anyways, I was fine with that, but then I noticed that Pethius is just moving in a pro-religion direction. You know, like they're just like advertising. It's not like it's not just like not criticizing religion. They're actually making excuses. For the worst things about it, like they're promoting religion. Like I think they found like apparently that's what their there's the money is at. Like by the way, talking about well, that's where the money is at. This they're so being so ungrateful. It wasn't like Hemet Mehta's friendly atheist was like one of their main um Yes. The entire non-religious section of Patheos was one of the largest and most active sections of Patheos. And now the non-religious section of Patheos is a whole, a, a shell of what it used to be. Okay, so here's another quote. This was reported in Religion News Service, which was a huge deal. And um, which, because it's associated with the Associated Press, saying... Quote, bloggers were advised they could stay at Patheo so long as they stopped writing negative or critical posts on religion or politics and instead to focus on how to live a good life within their own worldview. Unbelievable. Well, what? Okay, so why do we have... How come it's okay to promote religion on your platform and not criticize it? Like, it is so unbelievable. This is why we need our own platforms. Guys, this is why you can't trust other platforms. You just need to start building it from, you know, platforms that you that you own, okay? By the way, if Hamad ever watches this video, I know, like, he has his own YouTube channel and he's doing really good and his own website, I think, also, and his own podcast. But, again, all of this is on rented land, okay? Um make your own newsletter i think he has his own newsletter well right? but like he has his own newsletter but then so all of these bloggers who have left patheos they are start starting their news site called only sky which refers to mm. imagine by john lennon where instead of saying like in, instead of like there being heaven or hell imagine there's only sky um but it hasn't launched yet i did a lot of digging trying to find it today but instead you just find a site that like asks you to sign up for a newsletter um so the they're way, gonna you know, launch it soon this is such a disaster like you uh, do you understand? It is. like he's 
he like it's like people are like oh just it's good just move somewhere else you know how much effort you, you it goes into building something from scratch from from like after the years and years of dedication of building a community and now you just were like oh just move somewhere else he it's was on like, patio yes. since 2011. he was i think he was their main right like most of their yes. traffic came from because of him like 100%. how ungrateful do you have to be like why do platforms treat their, the people that made them relevant so poorly you know, like YouTube and Facebook, the people that they, they think, okay, because obviously they, they're profit motive. But yeah, Black Name is also pointing out like, like oh yeah, like guys, you're celebrating books that are promoting us burning for eternity. And we can't be like, oh, that's bad. Like we're being the hostile ones, but just pointing out that that's ridiculous. Like, no, like what the hell? Like, like even... This is, I don't I don't want to start a rant, but it's so ridiculous. This is so so here's ridiculous. another quote that I thought was interesting. So this is from Dale McGowan, who's going to be the um, editor in chief of Only Sky, and he also wrote um, Parenting Beyond Belief. Saying mm. this was a business decision to position themselves for the long term. Talking about the parent company, it um, and it may have been hard for Patheos to attract advertising among religious businesses while at the same time providing providing a forum for atheists to criticize religion. He said. By the way, this also shows that a lot of people who tell me that like, oh, maybe if you're just less radical, they won't come for you, you know, like maybe if you're just less, because I'm like supposed to be like the most aggressive one that doesn't hold back. And I'm just like, um, and people are like, well, is you, you did this and like, and then I get banned from Twitter and Facebook and people are like, guys, there's, there's no line. Like once you, once you were like, okay, this is too far and you draw the line a little bit back. And then they're going to move forward. They're going to be like, okay, this is the new line. This is the way. Like, and then you go like, okay, let's move, move backward. Guys, you're talking about Hemad Mehta. Like, this guy is like not very, like, he's fr he's a friendly atheist. Like, he's gen like, he says the most progressive things. And, it, like, he is not supposed to be, he's not like this controversial, radical guy that just says things that are supposed to be considered insensitive. Like, he says the, 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 we are talking about going after religion in the most politically correct version possible. Okay. Like I know going after religion as a whole is not like politically correct, but if there was a politically correct version of going after religion, it would be like the, the progressive brand of going after religion. Well, to the right? point that he gets roasted for being too woke too yes. politically sensitive. We've criticized him about that before. Yeah, we we did, of course. But like I'm just saying, like even 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 Hamad Mehta's version going up, like even that is not tolerated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah, that's like enough. if that's not tolerated, then what the hell is gonna be tolerated? Okay. And this is also why we need to we need people um uh, to push the, you know the line to much farther than what is accepted, so you can make the room for other people, you know. And also this is why you need to have a newsletter, and also this is why we need um new platforms where it's not owned by anybody okay i'm, I'm not gonna i'm not gonna say it you know what i'm talking oh, you know what i'm talking about no no, no. he's talking no, about no. the blockchain <laughs> <laughs> maybe not now maybe 10 years from now we're gonna have places again actually that might be a problem because we do need some community standards i don't know what how you're gonna deal with that okay but anyways we could deal with that when we we can get there um anyways this is ridiculous this is ridiculous um yeah my thought skeptic is saying when this guy is too harsh i don't even know what to say <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, like hey 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 i'll hail the black chain web 3.0 yeah yeah guys i don't know if this is going to happen in five years or in 10 years or in 20 years i'm not like saying like this is going to be something soon but i'm hoping i'm hoping it will happen okay i'm hoping we're like we're a, 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 oh by the way guys given talking about having to needing our own platforms okay the safest one right now is a newsletter so subscribe to our newsletter link in the description guys we don't know how long we're going to be able to stay in all the places we're at so we need to make sure that you are all on our newsletter before we get removed from YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter, okay? So link in the description, subscribe to our newsletter, and go figure out if Hamad Mehta has a newsletter as well, and subscribe to that as well, okay? You know one thing, maybe, like, maybe, no, no, no. Well, I preemptively subscribe to the Only Sky newsletter because I want to see what things are like when they launch. So I'm waiting, because I was going to promote it, but they haven't launched yet. 
I've, I don't know if that's a good idea. Like having like all, now, if you build like a place where all these people are go, eventually it's going to have like a moderating team and a management team, and there's going to be internal politics. Like just build your own, just build your own platform. Don't go like we're already on rented space when it comes to Facebook and YouTube. Like when you're building a website, build your own website. Like, no, they are building like, their own website. No, but they're building like all of these for all these other different authors. Yeah, writers. like an amalgamation. I'm, I'm saying if you mm. are actually, well, actually, you might need help. You might need help to be able to promote, especially for small. Maybe smaller writers do need a platform that so so to get highlighted. I don't know. I think like maybe just do your own branding. Okay, build your own YouTube channel, build your own blog, make your own podcast. If you, if it's hard, for, like if you think like you're too small to be able to just rely on yourself, instead of jumping on some other like on a place on a new platform where where other people own it, maybe just go become, uh, see if you can become a guest at some other people's YouTube channel or shows. Maybe that's the better strategy. I mean, what? how long are you going to go on this new place before they realize that they also have some standards that doesn't apply? I don't know. Anyways, I just think it's well, safer. Yeah, it's contention safer. that everyone has to deal with. It's safer if you just build your own br branding, right? Anyways. Wow, a lot Anyways. of people in live chat are very excited about blockchain web 3.0 really love it. should yeah. i talk about it more you guys because i feel like if i people might get like turned off if i talk about that by the way guys we are on um i don't know if this social media is going to survive or not probably maybe not because of you know it's not that big of a deal but we are experimenting with one social media that is on the blockchain uh which is called peaked a link to that is in the description and because it's web 3.0 Again, this is not financial advice, and I don't know how long, how long these these things will survive, but you could earn money just by posting and commenting and upvoting. Um, so, and also it's anti completely anti censorial because it's on the blockchain. Anything you post cannot be removed. Okay. Wait, so we are. We, I thought we were also on three speak, right? Okay, for so peaked is kind of like Facebook, three speak is like YouTube they're both uh, both of them both of them are on the hive blockchain so if you join one of them you have also joined the other one and everything else is that is on the hive blockchain right? that makes sense so go, yeah so go check out our account on peak link in the description and if you make an account there um you are on a blockchain social media the only i think blockchain social media out there that, that is active the only active blockchain social media mm -hmm. out there right now uh, is peaked. So as far as I know, so check it out. Um, yeah, link in the description. Captain Nadar is saying, oh. everyone watching this, just press the like button. So that's a fantastic reminder, you guys. Yeah. If you've been yes, enjoying please. what we've been giving you so far, I spend my whole day, every week, my entire Saturday is spent preparing for this show. So if you appreciate what I do, please hit mm -hmm. like. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, All our right, Hindu we... patrol is back saying this is your final show on my religion oh my god do you, you feel real it? tough and scary right now <laughs> oh my god you're so big and scary <laughs> you can't do any more watch guys this reminds me again this is why you have to be on our newsletter okay okay see these are these are people um very motivated to remove us because we're talking about hinduism okay hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Kali, you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below